Hello everybody, I'm Ebro the Nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we've been making our way up through the Sylph Company because Team Rocket has invaded, and we don't like any of that. They're here to take something from Sylph Co. so that they can get some strong Pokemon, which, really, getting strong Pokemon isn't a bad thing, but the fact that they're stealing from other people is we are not a fan of that. And so... We've been fighting a ton of trainers, we got a card key, and we've been making all the way through. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing that trek as we go. And hopefully fighting a bunch of more trainers. I have been cutting out pretty much all of the fights. You over here, Team Rocket's boss is terribly cruel. To him, Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen to that tyrant takes over our company? I don't think he's here to take over the company. Also, I don't know why you're sniffing this plant. Actually... You're probably not stiffing the plant. <laughs> You're probably hiding behind the plant. That makes more sense. I'm one of the four Rocket Brothers. Oh, it's the third one. You know what? I'm not going to cut out this fight. We, we will have a little bit of fighting in this episode early on as well. I think I'll cut out the fights after this, but you know, he's the third Rocket Brother. He's a decently important member, uh, Team Rocket member. We could, we could show a little bit of this. Tommy is fight Ooh, way to go tommy nice, nice paralysis right there that's what i'm talking about it didn't come through in the end but you know it's not bad at all makes it slower even though it was already pretty slow but then again you're really slow too so it could have been a speed time we could have had a little bit of a problem here or there but that's okay now we just got a bunch of coughings like come on that's just that's just weaker you don't you don't put your strongest pokemon out first you put like weaker pokemon out first to to like Actually, it doesn't even matter which Pokemon you put out first, of weaker or stronger. You should put it out based on if it's a good lead. Which generally, like, electric Pokemon or normal Pokemon are pretty good leads. Electric Pokemon are generally, like, the best leads. Because they, uh, they have only one type weakness. So you're generally not going to have too much of a problem with whatever types come out. You're going to be pretty okay for the most part. But... Normal types are also pretty good in that case, because, you know, they both only have one weakness each, but generally electric types are faster, so you're going to have the, the advantage, the speed advantage at the beginning of the game, which you get rolling and you can take control of the game early on, which is definitely a good idea. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Probably not. I don't think an invasion like this is going to finish the entire company. You're causing us problems! Well, Parker, you're causing other people problems, so, like, how about you take a step back and reevaluate your life decisions? Because it's not just me that's causing people problems, and I am helping more people. I'm helping people that are decent people for the most part. Helping people that don't go around stealing from others, which is not a good thing. You guys are dirty. I'm one of the four Rocket Brothers! It's the last Rocket Brother! Oh, baby. We have now taken down all the Rocket Brothers. We've taken down pretty much every Rocket Grunt that is possible. Yo, don't tell me. You look tired, you should take a quick nap, girl! You are my favorite, don't give up. See, this is why we're going around taking out these Rocket Grunts to save nice people like her. Wow, you could really see me from that far away? Jeez. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. They do. They do. Aw, oh, man. Warume is now level 39. Also, him on Lee is 34. I don't know if I said that before. We also learned a new move, Destiny Bond. If the user faints, the foe delivering the final hit also faints. Which is a pretty dastardly move. One of my favorites. It's actually a move I love to lead with in competitive play, honestly, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I, I'm i a very big fan of Destiny Bond. Now on, on like Haunter slash Gengar, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. I haven't really used it on them, but you know, I'm always willing to try new things. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. Shh, please. All right, so Warmay fainted. So I'm gonna switch Tremito up to be here, and since Tommy hasn't seen as much play as the rest of the team members other than Hitmon Lee, I think I'll also put Tommy up there as well. Just a little reordering of the team so everyone's getting some 
nice, fun play. Wait, could you have gone into that room without having to uh, fight the design? You could have. Interesting. I almost feel like I've been in here before, which I technically have because, you know, I've played this game a whole bunch of times, but I feel like recently, within this playthrough, I've been there before, which is very possible. Are you going to be a trainer? You're not. Ah, I'm scared! Well, don't worry, little girl, or adult girl. I honestly can't tell how old some of these people are. I guess she's not a little girl because she's not like half the size of the rest of the characters, which they do try to show. There are little girl sprites. I think there's one little girl sprite, actually. Welcome to Ten Floor! So good of you to join me. I like the way this guy talks. Well, Tremito lasted a total of one fight, so that didn't go on for very long. Also, we got a Carbos and a Rare Candy. Oh man, those are two really good items. What else are we getting? An Ultra Ball? Not bad, not bad at all. Speaking of Ultra Balls, it has been a it has been a minute since we have received or since we received since we've caught any Pokemon. Hello, did not expect you to be there. Halt! Do you have a point with, with my boss? I do. Himon Lee is now level 35. That's only five levels. Four maybe, depending on how you look at it below everybody else. Definitely getting up there in the levels. And now, you can see that we have made it to the top floor. There's nowhere else for us to go other than, like, right there where there's that fancy, that fancy old dude. The old dude's not very fancy. There's an old dude, and there's a fancy table, and some girl standing next to him. Kind of looks like this, maybe. So we have not gone through everything we need to go through. Now, we have to go back through and go through all the war panels on every single floor. So... Let's start doing that right now. Let's go through this one. This takes me to an open space on floor four. Good to know. Now, what about this one? This takes me to, really? A different open space on floor four? Okay, okay, I see you. Floor four and floor 10 are very connected. And another space on floor four. Did I walk? By. Wow, I can't believe all three of those led to floor four. That's ridiculous, by the way. And I didn't unlock this with all the goodies behind it. An escape rope. A max revive. What? That's what I'm talking about. And a full heal. Not bad either. I can't believe I skipped by that. And there's a dude back here. What's going, man? What's going on? Shh. Can't you see I'm hiding? I can. This is this isn't a bad hiding place. Not gonna lie. I think I can get behind that kind of hiding place also. So, that's everything. You know, while we're here on floor 4, we might as well hit this one right here. It takes us to 6th floor. Alright, well, so that I don't lose track of which floors I've been through, we're going to go back up to 10th floor and continue making our way down the floors, trying to find whatever new places we can go to with all the war panels, which honestly, I think they're just going to be leading to other floors. I don't remember if there's going to be much of a difference anywhere we go. And you know what? It sounds like a better idea for me to just cut until I find a new place that we have yet to go to that we will reach from warp panels. So I will, I will see you guys in a sec. Actually, it turns out that the only way we have left to go is here where Gary is that you can reach from the third floor. So, let's head there and say hey. How's it going, Gary? What kept you, Dallas? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Oh, I got better, Gary. I got better indeed. This is our fifth fight with our rival Gary. He's gonna send us first Pokemon Pidgeot level 37 with the ability Keen Eye. Moves our Wing Attack, Feather Dance, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind. We do not have a good Pokemon. This is a horrible lead. It's gonna be setting. Actually, oh, it's gonna be set up with. It's probably gonna set up with Feather Dance. I think our best chance is gonna get Tremito out here. And we're going to follow up with a, uh, a Rock Slide? No, it's going for the Wing Attack. That's good for us. I'm glad it didn't set up with Feather Dance. Because that would not have been good. Yeah, let's do this Rock Slide. Hopefully this is enough to take out Pidgeot. Maybe? Please? 
That was not <laughs> nearly enough to take out Pidgeot. As you saw, we are faster. And this, we are not faster because he used Quick Attack. Well, what I was about to say was that that's really good for us because we're faster. But we were not. So I was a bit mistaken. That's perfectly fine. We're going to lower its attack. So it's not going to do nearly as much damage. We're going to go in with a nice flame wheel. We're going to finish this off, hopefully. Is that enough? That Wow! Arden, you were weak. You are definitely in do. Or in do? You are definitely due for an evolution really soon. In fact, I think we might have a Firestone that we can slap onto you, get you evolved into a nice, good Arcanine. Now you're going to use Gyarados! Alright, Gyarados is level 38 with the ability to Intimidate. Moves, Dragon Rage, Twister, Bite, Leer. If, it, if you chose Charmander, this Pokemon will instead be a Growlithe with Intimidate. It will also have the moves Roar, Flame Wheel, Leer, and Takedown. If you chose Bulbasaur, it will be ex Execute with Chlorophyll, Confusion, Hypnosis, Leech Seed, and Stun Spore. Not a bad Pokemon wherever you go. However, I think James Pond is going to be perfectly fine taking out this Gyarados. Dragon Rage is a move that does 40 damage every time. Wow, that did not do nearly enough damage. Does Is Surf going to be a better move to use in the end? Surf? It was a crit, so it probably wasn't a better move to use. However, we did get crit, which is nice. I'll take the, I'll take the crit. Now we follow up with a good Mega Punch. I definitely want to keep um, Arden alive because we know he's got he's got that Grass type starter in the back. Speaking of which, Arden level forty one, get a nice little power boost before it's it's big time to shine. Speaking of Venusaur. Venusaur, level 40, the ability overgrow moves, sweet scent, sleep powder, poison powder, razor leaf. It is kind of ridiculously strong. I think we're gonna we're gonna protect. We're gonna see what it's gonna do. If you chose Charmander, he's a Blastoise level 40, the ability torrent, moves bubble, water gun, bite, protect. Honestly, that Blastoise is kind of horrible. Now, if you chose Bulbasaur, it's got a he's got a Charizard level 40 with the ability Blaze, move Scary Face, Flamethrower, Smokescreen, and Wing Attack, which is definitely probably the best of the three. If you have a Bulbasaur, you're probably going to be having the hardest time with this particular Pokemon. Now, what is our best chance? Is Arden our best chance? I think Arden is our best chance. Let's get Arden right on out there. Arden, you were bred for this, kind of. I didn't actually breed you, so you weren't really bred for this, but you were made for this. You were born for this. You were born to take out nice Venusaurs like this. That did not do a lot of damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, we got Sleep Powder. I'm not going to use the Poke Flute because he hasn't used any items yet, so I don't think the Poke Flute is worth it just yet. Or he didn't poison us. I think I'd rather take the Sleep Powder than the poison, honestly. Now, he could have... He got a crit! No! Okay, Arden, this is, this is the time. It's do or die. Wake up! You did not wake up. Well, in that case, it's die, or in Pokemon's case, it's faint. Well, that's fine. That's fine. There's nothing to worry about. You know what we're going to do? We're going to bring out... Hmm, you know? We have this new Pokemon. Hitmonlee, it's your time to shine. This is your first boss fight. How you going to do? How you going to do? Let's, let's use that nice high jump kick. You're going to take a Razor Leaf. That's fine. We can take a Razor Leaf. No problem. No problemo. We can take two Razor Leafs, I believe. No, wait, that, that did 44. We can't take two Razor Leafs. However, it doesn't matter, because we took him out! Yes! Good! Alright. His strongest Pokemon is out of the way. Now, is it the most worrying Pokemon? It's not, because we have an Alakazam. Yes, on all three teams, he has Alakazam, which is the weakest in levels of his Pokemon. It is level 35 with the ability to synchronize, but moves are Future Sight, Calm Mind, Reflect, and Recover. Wait a second! Hold! The phone. Moves are Future Sight, Calm Mind, Reflect, and Recover. You know what that means, don't you? That means this Alakazam can't attack unless it uses Future Sight. It cannot attack on this turn. So I'm going to build up with Focus Energy, and I'm going to go into the Brick Break. Now, the reason I'm going in with Brick Break, because if he uses Reflect, he's going to use Re Future Sight twice in a row. That's okay. Actually, I'm fine with that. But if he had used Reflect, and we used Brick Break. Brick Break actually breaks 
down moves like reflect slash light screen. And you didn't want to use either of those? No way! We're taking down this Alakazam! That's what I'm talking about! Way to go, Hitmonlee! Not only did you take down his starter Pokemon fully evolved, but you also took down his Alakazam! Now his Alakazam sucks. Let's be real. However, you still did really good. Foresight's not a horrible move. Actually, you know Let's get rid of... Let, Foresight, we've seen before, lets us be able to hit Ghost-type Pokemon. Let's get rid of Rolling Kick. We don't really need Rolling Kick. We have Brick Break and High Jump Kick. We don't need a third fighting move right now. Let's grab Foresight. And we're going to use Growlithe. We know he's going to use Growlithe because Growlithe is his last Pokemon. Level 35, Abilities Intimidate. Moves are Roar, Flame Wheel, Leer, and Takedown. Now, if you chose Charmander, this will actually be his Execute with the same moves as mentioned before. And if you chose... Bulbasaur, this will be a Gyarados. Also, I can't believe that Future Sight didn't even take us out. How? How did that Future Sight not take us out? What? Is it not Psychic-type damage? Does Future Sight not have Psychic-type damage? I didn't see if it said Recover or not, because I was looking at the stats for the Pokémon on the rest of the screen. That's crazy! Way to go, Hitmonlee! I wish I had a nickname for you right now, because you pulled through! Alright, we're gonna finish this up with a nice Shadow Punch. Also, his growl was with like, one health. How ridiculous is that? Would've been done. It's because of the Intimidate, that's honestly why. Gary, you were a joke. You- so you are ready for Boss Rocket. We are- why does they say Boss Rocket? We know who it is. Well, Dust, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Well, Dallas, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. He's going to the Elite Four, don't you? How many badges do you have? Well, he have like five badges or something. Well, that's his plan. That's fine. Now, we need to heal. I'm going to go heal right now. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Hello there. Oh, hi, you're not Rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to this Pokemon for saving us. We obtained a Lapras! We will give a Lapras! Lapras! Alright, time to talk about new Pokémon! Lapras is another example of a bulky water type, and it's definitely a good one. It has amazing HP and pretty decent stats all around, other than it's pretty low speed. As you can see, 60 is not that great. It does get some pretty nifty moves and a good ability and water absorb, and it happens to be one of the only five ice types in generation one which is crazy that's not as low as the three that you can find three ghost types you can find in generation one but that's still pretty low however that ice typing actually makes it a worse bulky water type because ice is one of the worst defensive types in the game it's a pretty good offensive type but not good defensively lapras actually works best as a bulky water that beats other bulky water types. It's not as good as other as some other bulky water types, but it's better at taking on other bulky water types. So if that's what you need on your team, definitely put it on. And Lapras itself is one of my favorite Pokemon. I have no idea what to call this. You know, actually, I do know what we're gonna call this. It's actually probably one of the least original names. I'm actually, it is now not one of the most least original names. I was gonna name it Nessie, but I missed the N and went for the M. So it's gonna be called Messy, which is fine. Being messy isn't a bad thing. It's very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it'll be much better off with me. Where did you keep it in your lab? It's a good swimmer, it'll give you lift across water. Yeah, you, generally you see it in the anime using surf and stuff, but that's interesting. There is a Team Rocket! Stop right there, don't you move! I did not expect you to be right there. What do you have? <laughs> okay, well I did not expect that at all. Thankfully, we didn't lose any health on any of our Pokemon. We lost a little bit of PB here and there, but that's not bad at all. And we don't want to lose any health because as you can see as we were walking up, ah, Dallas. So, we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Or, you know, your Pokemon. Oh man, it's Giovanni fight number two! 
This first Pokemon is Nidorino, level 37, with the ability Poison Point, moves, Horde Attack, Poison Sting, Helping Hand, and Fury Attack. Honestly, the only thing that we care about getting hit is the uh, the nice, powerful Horn Attack, because that is a one-hit Wonder-type move. Oh, it's going for, like, other things. I started out with um, Warome here, because his only other move, he's got Horn Attack, which can't do anything, Fear Attack, which can't do anything, and Poison Sting, which, as you can see, does like 2 to 3 damage, so we are gonna be living here and there as we, uh, here and there? We're gonna be living here and there. We're gonna be living completely against this Nido Reno. It's gonna be a great Pokemon for us to start off with. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna mm, come up. I probably could have used Nightjade the whole way through, because 39 damage probably would have been better to do, but you know, that's alright, that's alright, no worries. What do we got next? Rhyhorn! Alright, Rhyhorn is level 37 with the ability Rockhead. Moves, Fear Attack, Scary Face, Stomp, and Rock Blast. Honestly, the only thing that we care about is that Rock Blast. So, let's uh, let's not get hit by the Rock Blast. Rock Blast is move, I think, that hits a bunch of times in a row, and it gets each each uh, hit gets stronger as it hits you, which is honestly pretty cool. I really like Rock Blast, and I'm, I'm a little disappointed that there aren't more moves like it, but, you know... They can do whatever they want to do. And this thing has a ton Why are you just using Scary Face? You just keep using Scary Face. I mean, my speed's going down, but, like... Is it is it necessary for the other Pokemon to win? But you just keep putting my particular speed down. Like... I don't, I don't understand, Giovanni. You clearly know nothing about Pokemon battling. That, that's like grunt level ignorance. His last, not last Pokemon, his third Pokemon, but his strongest Pokemon is Nidoqueen, level 41, with the ability Poison Point. Has moves Double Kick, Tail Whip, Poison Sting, and Body Slam. Honestly, we are in the exact same situation that we were with Nidorino, except even better because it did one damage with that Poison Sting. Double Kick couldn't do anything, Tail Whip's not gonna be doing anything, Body Slam's not gonna be doing anything. Honestly, Warume completely destroys Giovanni's team. This is ridiculous. The only, the only chance he had was Rhyhorn's Rock Blast. That is the only move on his entire team. We haven't seen his fourth Pokemon, but I'm telling you now, there's only one move that he could have used that could have done a little bit of something to us, and that is Rock Blast. This is... This is ridiculous. I don't understand. Also, I kept I switched to Shadow Punch, but clearly I was doing way more with uh, Nightshade. I don't know why I switched to Shadow Punch because I switched to see we were doing more, but then I'd pay attention to we were doing more because I was just so dumbfounded by how ridiculous Warume completely destroys this team. Him on is now level 37. Cool. I'm happy for you. His last Pokemon is Kangaskhan. The ability Early Bird, it's level 35, it's got the moves Fake Out, Rage, Mega Punch, and Tail Whip. Now, it can't do anything to us, but we also can't do anything to it right now, because we don't have any moves that aren't Ghost-type. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch right on out to our new member, Hitmonlee, who completely destroyed Gary's team. Just, like, beautiful. And we're going to go in for a nice high jump kick. Finish this bad boy off, I think this could be enough. I know King's Town is pretty bulky, but it's not bulky enough. Giovanni, you are a joke. A complete, utter joke. I don't know how you're the boss of Team Rocket. Well, then again, the rest of Team Rocket, all those grunts, they're, they're pretty much a joke too. Blast it all! You ruined our plans for Sylph, but Team Rocket will never fall. Dallas, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Yeah, 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 whatever. We don't care about you now. What we do care about is this lovely secretary. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We from the president down are indebted to you. Nice. I'm down for some indebted. Oh dear girl, thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of pearl. I have to thank you in some way. Because I'm rich, I can give you anything. <laughs> I can give you whatever you want, girl. Here, maybe this will do. We don't need a master ball. You can't buy that anywhere, we can't because it's a prototype, which you shouldn't be giving it as a prototype. It's a secret prototype nonetheless, that's interesting. How did Team Rocket learn about it? it catch any Pokemon without fail. When he says any Pokemon without fail, he means it. Like, any Pokemon 
without fail. You can catch literally every Pokemon. It doesn't matter. There's there's no there's no Pokemon escaping from a Master Ball. It is the best ball in the entire game, and we now have one. I think we know exactly what we're gonna use it on, and that's the Chansey. Except you can't use it on the Chansey because you have to use Safari Balls on Chansey, which is why Chansey is the hardest Pokemon to catch in the game. Hate Chansey, still trying to catch that gosh diddly darn pink blob of a Pokemon. However. We have now eradicated Saffron City of all the Team Rocket. Grunts is safe from the menace that Team Rocket is. And that's going to be it for this episode. Wow, we had two really long episodes getting through Silphco. Silphco is huge, and there's so much to do in it. So there's so many trainers to fight. It's crazy. However... Since we are done, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please click that like button. Remember, you can always click subscribe if you want to stay updated on this series and other stuff coming out from me. I hope that I'll see you in the next episode. We will be going towards our sixth gym, the Saffron City Gym, because the Team Rocket Grunt is no longer blocking the way. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day. That rhymed. Thanks for watching.